pump fund. It has been the topic of a lot of conversations in crypto lately because it's basically a poop show. It's a poop fest, poop festival, and a lot of people are just minting basically new coins, JPEGs, every second of the day, and they are just trading them to zero, and no one knows what the hell is going on, and there's basically no value being added except to the developer's pockets. So this is pump fun. Every time you're seeing a new coin launch, every literally millisecond, new coin, new coin, new coin, bingo, boxcat, pengi, coney, booba, yardog, ninja cat world, over and over and over again. All right, so what's happening is it's just turbo rugs everywhere, turbo rugs, because they're making tickers, but they're not making communities. There is no proof of work. You're just popping things into existence and they're just all farts in the wind. Okay, so... There has to be, though, a distinction, friends. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin the helicopter hat and we're going to play some pump music for pump fun because, like, I mean, congrats to the devs. They made literally, friends, of up to $85 million of revenue right now. The devs, just the devs, the creators who made it. Everybody else, 0% win rate, pretty much. I mean, like, it's, okay, it's 0.14% win rate. It's pretty much a 0% win rate when you look at it. Um, and obviously, this is a picture of me. What I'm about to tell you, friends is some truth about it because what you're going to be hearing is a bit of a misunderstanding from the mainstream crypto industry and you really you gotta you gotta learn this if you don't learn this where else are you going to hear it from so i'm here to tell you that pump fun is not for the meme coin community it's not for altcoins it's not okay pump fun is not for them pump fun is for the short-term trader community all right so pump fun friends, there are gamblers out there, okay? They have no commitment, no loyalty. They basically can't stick with anything. They can't go to the gym and stick with the training program. They can't commit to relationships, nothing. So when it comes to coins, these types of people and their activities with their 15 second TikTok generation attitude, they can't commit to coins either. And it's just everybody rugging each other and everyone loses, except the front runners, the insiders, the scum, and obviously the, the devs themselves of Pump Fun. Okay. Now, Pump Fun, it is, it was a new target market. And it basically appeals to the gamblers who were responsive to BitMEX back in 2018. So, friends, if you remember BitMEX, okay, BitMEX, this is their site. Okay, this is their site, friends, BitMEX. And, of course, the site has changed ever since uh, they basically done a big uh, facelift because back in 2018, this is exactly what everyone remembers from BitMEX. This was the BitMEX website, you see. And as you can see, if you move your eyes, there is a little part here, leverage. If you see this leverage part went all the way up to 100x leverage. So BitMEX... From Arthur Hayes, right? So Arthur Hayes, he's the billionaire, found the BitMEX. Yes, they introduced 100x leverage and it became like a big meme and everybody was gambling on it and there weren't that many bots in there at the time. So the liquidity was more fluid and retail because of so much money coming into crypto off the back of the 2017 crypto cycle. We crossed the chasm, which is the biggest technological adoption curve. You can look at it in the technology S-curve part. When we crossed the chasm, friends, pretty much the biggest growth of technology is in this cross in the chasm, this part right here, right? This is pretty much, this was 2017, friends. This is every altcoin doing a 100x. There were only 100, there were only 200 coins, pretty much. 180 of them literally did a 50 to 100x. This was the amazing stuff. That was Ethereum's first cycle, all right? That, that was pretty much it. And in that period, you had BitMEX growing and people who responded to it, Okay, they basically lost all their money. Now everyone knows the fastest way to lose your money, go on leverage trade and exchange, you're going to get destroyed. There are better deals given to other market makers, prop firms, all these insiders. The exchange is trading against you. You're basically getting destroyed. The fees are enormous. The volatility of the big coins is nowhere near making up for a lot of the, the fat that used to be available there for a lot of the people. Okay, so now it's just PvP mode and that's pretty much it. Now, there is... A market for those gamblers, though, they they needed a home to go to. They don't know where to go, okay? So those people, they're actually still gambling and they're still losing. However, Pump Fun appears, and those BitMax 100x DGen, that mentality style, instead of 
that 100x leverage on Bitcoin, there is another new 100x leverage style. It is pump fun. It's let's make a new ticker. Everybody bets on this JPEG and let's see what happens. And what ends up happening is you have, instead of, like I said, that 100x leverage, you've got basically, it is 100x different type of leverage, right? Because they're starting so small, starting from zero. It's like extreme risk. And your odds are pretty much the same, by the way, in terms of your win rate. If you're putting on a 100x leverage trade, you're going to get destroyed because the volatility is basically insane because all the thing needs to do, I think, is move 0.8% <laughs> against you and then you're wicked out And because they got to hit you out early, okay? So they don't lose money and they got to make sure your collateral is enough to cover it, okay? So pump fund, right? It's for people who want the 100x BitMEX style gambling but on-chain new tokens, 0% success rate. The stats are all in. Okay. So you're getting, getting an idea of pump fun. That's not meme coins, man. Meme coins, friends, they're memes, they're communities. They're built to basically foster the growth of community network effects. Pump fun, absolutely nothing to do with them. Not, not even close to it. It's literally the complete opposite. It is the antithesis of meme coins, even though people group them together because then people don't know what's going on. We're here 18 hours a day, okay? You often hear a lot of the mainstream influencers, they're like, oh, pump fun. Isn't that where all the meme coins and all the stuff are? No, 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 it's, it is, it's a hundred, it's a new BitMEX 100X leverage trading for everybody to lose their money on. And um, the basically just like the BitMEX casino, who wins? The casino wins, right? Just like BitMEX, Arthur becomes a billionaire off it, right? Um, millions and millions and millions of dollars is made of profit every day, just liquidating people up and down and cashing in, okay? So if, if you're able to get a stake in it, that'd be great, right? If you were able to buy Pump Fund as a token, that would have been cool, but you weren't able to, right? It's, it's tough, it is tough, friends. So the Pump Fund, it is real number, by the way, $85 million they've made. Uh, it's pretty much, it's a unicorn, but that's the sad part, right? You're in crypto to be able to get in early to this stuff, but um, all they've done is they've released like this little gladiator coliseum, and they've given like one guy a trident, Right, the Leonidas Trident, and the other guy, they've given him basically a gun. And they're like, hey, kill each other. <laughs> it's just like, Pfft. you know what I mean? And like, whatever. And okay, the winner gets like literally uh, breadcrumbs, and then you got to fight the next guy after. And the emperor just sits there, which is the developers. They're just sitting there and just collecting in all the money from the crowd. Okay, you and I can't participate in that. So users have made nothing, literally pretty much almost nothing. Now, whenever you say this, there's, there's going to be one guy, hey, this one coin started on pump fund and now it's worth like millions of market cap. Okay, sweet. You go check whatever's in there. You're like, oh, your coin has success, 400K market cap on the bid. Okay, but uh, do you know how much money has been extracted? If $85 million went to the Soylana devs, $500 million have been extracted from all the ruggers. Okay, sweet. You've got, I'm not even joking, but it's literally like this. It goes, okay, $5 million in healthy bids. $495 million has been stolen. Gee, I can't figure it out. I can't figure out what's going on here. Like, clearly, it's been value extracting. It's been giant negative, just total. But look, the experiment had to be done. People had to see it. Okay, so <clears throat> the truth is, right, the users made nothing, but they deserve it for their TikTok generation, no loyalty gambling trade style. So thank you very much. That's You, you want to play that game? All right, you get those results. And I've got to repeat to you, friends, it's, it's Zuma, T-Drop Tattoo, the kids with the shaved hair, you know that little soy jack? It's these Zoomers, these ones like, ah, these ones, you know, with the, um, the, the, the squiggly hair, haircut, these ones. The, the, these are the Zoomer kids. Those are the types, friends, they're like, wow, wow, sick, got a treat, in and out, fast, 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 15 seconds. Well, just so you know, like, it's, it's nice that you're passionate about markets, but Mathematically, you're programmed to lose because the times you click in and out, it's gonna. You think it's gonna add up to only like ten trades, but people completely underest, um, underestimate it. Realistically, you're still trading six months later, and now you've done five thousand trades, and five thousand trades times that tiny slippage of paying the fee each time, right? That's assuming you just break even, you get destroyed. So that's what they can never calculate. Because remember. They're overconfident. Like they think, um, don't worry, in 10 trades, I'm basically gonna make a 50X. They keep trading that whole way. And each time you're trading, right, it's 0.3% in, 0.3% out. So that's one trade, 0.3 in, 0.3 out. So you do that thousands of times, 
you're chewing away at your capital. That's even for someone to break even. Okay, so you see the, the slippage and the brokerage cost of everything, it, it chews everybody out and that's how they get destroyed. So you now you get to see, friends, Pump Fund does not grow communities. It is the antithesis of crypto network effects. It's literally got nothing to do with meme coins. But because you can launch coins so fast, people think, oh, they're, they're memes. They're, just, they're trying to put it in that same category. Well, I get it because it takes takes a while for people to kind of see what's going on. But uh, they aren't in the same category. One of them is literally people wanted somewhere to trade BitMEX style but in a new arena. And they were given the new arena. And it's totally PVP. And it's... You know, one guy's got a piece of bread, one guy's got, you know, two copper coins in his wallet, another guy's just got a shoe with a hole in it, and they're just like stabbing each other to try to steal off their little items. That's what ends up happening. And unfortunately, everybody in there loses because of the value extraction going on, okay? So, um, but look, I believe in free markets, and if the market really wants to keep rewarding this on Soilana, Jeetland, keep doing it. Keep doing it. You'll see what happens. I mean, you're cursing yourself. Uh, I want nothing to do with anybody of that. Uh, as you guys know, friends, anything that goes to Soilana, you just basically, you get the hammer thrown at you because uh, you realize everybody there is untrustworthy, no loyalty. Um, it pretty much, they're not going to stick through anything. You, you, the, the people on there, I don't know why, there's something about that chain. It's not on any other chain, by the way. The chains, on any other chain, they're not as GT. Like Soilana has extreme G, extreme no loyalty. Uh, I mean, it's no question, right? Celebrity coins were on there. They just straight rug. Okay, it's just, yeah, it's very, very exploitative. And I don't want anything to do with it just because the odds are bad, right? So I'm not here to predict the future. I'll be here to take good odds, right? Um, I wanted to update this with you too as well. So the Democrats, friends, they've had a campaign called Crypto for Harris. They did like a spaces event thing, town hall to talk to crypto, uh, talk crypto with the crypto industry. Also, someone pointed this out. It's interesting. It's called Crypto for Harris instead of, Harris for crypto. So because they put crypto for Harris, it's implying, hey, crypto guys, come and beg me. Maybe I'll do something for you, right? It's like, hey, you know, yeah, crypto guys for Harris. It's like, it's an interesting twist how they see themselves. Whereas if they were putting Harris for crypto, it's her saying she's in support, but actually she's not even in support because most users, they're reporting this whole event was a waste of time. They did pre-recorded videos because they don't know what the hell they're talking about. They're like the blockchain that they're just, pre-recorded stuff, right? And they literally said, basically, uh, paraphrasing you, but they, they basically said this, we will maybe lift the operation choke point foot off your throats of crypto. Maybe if we get in. Maybe we'll lift it. You should vote for us. So disgusting, man. It is so disgusting. Friends, I'm, I don't care about the politics, but I'm not, I'm not voting in America. I don't care. But just letting you know, like obviously I made the big breaking news video earlier to show you that in Polygon markets, there are these big suspicious accounts, suspicious, obviously Democrat funded. They've been rigging the Polygon markets to show Kamala Harris in front. So they've been spending millions of dollars to pay a premium on the pricing for that, basically betting that Kamala uh, Harris is going to win. They're paying 54 cents on the dollar compared to 45 cents. And the real markets out there were like 47, 48, or whatever, even more closer. Okay, so people are just willing people, right? A few big accounts. I don't know. Golly gee, I wonder, I wonder where it could possibly come from for somebody to rig these markets, okay? But you know what? I knew even one of my videos, I specifically said in one of my videos, I go, hey, if the Democrats really wanted to win this and rig it, they'll go to Polygon Markets and they'll just insert money into the Kamala Harris side. They'll just print money. Um, they'll just get the money funded. Obviously, it all comes from the money printer. The They get printed money and they just go throw it out into the Kamala Harris side to basically um, make her in lead. But well, they, they screwed it up. Why? They put the odds of Kamala Harris way far ahead. And so now we know it's fake. Now you know it's 100% fake because, because the real market's paying 47 cents. Kamala Krappus on Polygon was paying 50, 54 cents. So why would somebody with one and a half million dollars go and pay 54 cents with something when they can just go pay 47 cents for it? Okay. For example, for example, if Bitcoin is $58,000 on Coinbase, why would you go sell it for $35,000 on another exchange? Why would you go do that? It's literally $58,000. That's exactly what they did. They've gone and sold it at $35,000 or the other way. They've went and bought Bitcoin at $70,000 to manipulate it when really it's trading at 58 across every exchange. So that's how you know. So um, in recent news, right, I explained the uh, the rigging and stuff here. So they've actually got a Twitter account. So this is the type of stuff that's been just, it's going to be really heating up. It's going to get really political. Mr. Not Grubbles, Democrats talk about maybe lifting the boot off our throats and the crowd goes wild. You don't negotiate with tyrants, you vote them out. So 
you're going to see more of these uh, these political stuff heat up, friends. Um, look, but at the end of the day, crypto, global liquidity is going up. You don't need them. You don't need them, friends. The politicians, they're both arguing about who's going to put up the debt more. The debt's going up. doesn't matter. Okay, you're going to put up the debt by, you know, $10 to buy eggs. You're going to put up the debt by $10 to buy ham. It doesn't matter. Okay, you're both putting up the debt. Sweet. That's all we need to know. Crypto's going up. And I want you to think about, friends, I'm going to leave you with this. This is it's, this is going to be very powerful to see, like, this guy, okay, Basca. Basca, friends, worked for 7-Eleven for 50 years. 50 years, 7-Eleven. Yeah, yeah. 50 wow, years. Wow, 50 years. Anything to say? No, no. So you worked for a company for 50 years and all he got was a congratulations email. And the email is the freaking what the CEO's head zoomed up. Congratulations, Habib. Wow. Wow. Like you, you see that, your heart breaks one and two, you're like you're more bullish on crypto. Like this, friends, this, this system we have gives people a chance. Right now, there's a lot of rugs, a lot of scams. You've got the pump fund. I know, I know, I know. And we've got helicopter hats spinning all the time. We've got to spin it more, spin it for the green candles. But it gives them a chance, man. Just imagine Baskar here. Imagine when he was younger, if he was educated by someone who told him, hey, you know when you save money? You're not actually saving, bro. Right? They are diluting you at 7% per year. And they're giving you a pay rise of 3%. Okay. It's literally like you have a safe with a thousand, with a hundred dollars. You have a safe of a hundred dollars. I give you three bucks, but then I take seven dollars out of the safe every year. Every year. I take the seven dollars. Hey, I'm giving you three dollars for your birthday. You do that. What happens, friends? Every year, you eventually dilute. It's literally exactly, exactly happening, right? But you don't know that. No one knows that. How you go, hey, how's one guy meant to figure it out? Only some geniuses figured it out ages ago. And now we have the power of the internet to help each other. That's why I'm here to help you, to tell you that they are doing this actively. It's not even a conspiracy. Like, are these actually, actually happening? That's why everything goes up in price. And mathematically, you can see all this. You can see all it happening. So luckily, we have a, we have, we're blessed to see this, right? Do you want to be working somewhere 50 years? Congratulations, right? You can escape the rat race, man. That's it. You can escape the rat race. By the way, um, if crypto is like literally pumping to the moon, I've got no remorse for everyone else. I'm like, well, I've only made 3,500 videos for everyone out here to tell everyone, well, this is the thing. We've kind of figured it out. By the way, it literally is 3,500 videos. What a freak. <sighs> Peanut brain. Look, the system, it ain't perfect. It's wild, wild west. There's volatility. Uh, volatility, by the way, it's like a bit of an understatement as well. It's like it's bone crushing, hyperactive, radionuclear, <laughs> Hiroshima bomb exploding volatility. Okay, there's volatility. But at least you know you're buying something scarce. At least you know that. At the end of the day, you have an option to buy something scarce. You have an option to buy something scarce that's getting more scarce over time. Right. By the way, as Bitcoin and Ethereum get more scarce over time, it reprices the whole industry. Which side are you going to be on? Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button all. Tell mom and daddy you love them. Catch you in the next one.